What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with another tech gift guide episode. Today is the fourth one in this series, and in case this is your first time tuning in, today's episode is best tech gift ideas under 200 bucks. We've already had 150 and 25 all linked up this way in case you wanna check out. And also, if this is your first time tuning in, the best part is you've got a chance to win across every single one of these episodes, one of the items. As I mentioned previously, the rules to enter this giveaway series are pretty simple. Just be sure to sub to the channel, leave one comment down below on your favorite one. Remember, you can comment on every single episode in the series. And of course, follow me over on Insta for behind the scenes stuff. And in and around Christmas day, when I've got some free time, I will announce the winners. Hope you're all enjoying the holiday season and let's get to our first item under 200 bucks. For the first couple items, we're gonna focus on some of my fave home tech pieces, and you can grab all this home tech stuff from Home Depot. They're today's sponsor, so big shout outs to them. Their first one being the Ring Doorbell V2. As the name implies, it's a smart doorbell because we all know that Amazon thieves are becoming more of a thing. You can use this to replace your existing doorbell and it has a 1080p signal that can of course run to your phone. So you can see who's coming to your door. You can even interact with them as it has a two-way microphone. So with this guy, you can tell the UPS or FedEx driver, yeah, you can leave the package at the front or I've got a side door which you can leave it at. This also helps, say you've got kids at home, you can see who's at the door or if it's a pesky market marketer, you can choose not to go to the door. The next guy also by Ring is their spotlight cam. And this guy is actually battery powered because I know having a wire isn't always the most practical solution. You can put this guy anywhere around your house and it doesn't have to be say your dedicated doorbell. You can have this by your garage at the side door. You can actually have a couple of these to get that full 360 degree view around your house. Just like the doorbell, it has motion detection, so when someone walks by, you'll get an alert on your phone, so you'll know if it's a pesky raccoon or in fact something a bit more serious. It should get you around a couple weeks use before you have to swap it out, and it also has two slots just in case you wanna have an extra battery on hand. The last piece of home tech kind of needs no introduction. These are Philips Hue light bulbs, and these of course are way under $200, but I placed them in this category because they're addictive. They're like chips or Pringles, you know, once you pop, you can't stop buying them. I've got Philips Hue light bulbs across my entire place. Whether you just end up with a standalone bulb or if you have outdoor lights, which I've got out in my patio, or even some of these play light bars, which I've got synced to my TV, you can sync all of these together with the Hue Bridge. You've got around 16 million color options that you can fiddle or play around with. You can set different moods. You can sync individual lights together, pair them, your heart kind of goes content and I guarantee you, you'll spend over 200 bucks on light bulbs. Item number four are AirPods. And just cause you're not an Apple user, you don't have to skip by this. I know a ton of my Android friends that in fact still use AirPods as their Bluetooth headphones. I know that the AirPods Pros recently dropped, but those are 250 bucks. If you're strict on your budget, you wanna stick under 200, check out the OG AirPods. I would get the ones without the wireless charging case. Just the convenience of these guys are pretty much the game changers. I wouldn't say that the audio quality is anything special. It's just the hands-free motion, the easy syncing and pairing to your iPhone. AirPods for me have been, I think Apple's best product that they've come out with probably in the past three, four years. Item number five is the Google Nest Hub. And if you watch my previous episode, you'll know that I had the Amazon Echo Show 5. This guy's a bit pricier. It's around 125, 150 bucks. I think it's the best smart display hub currently on the market. They also have the larger max size hub. I've got that over in my living room. This guy usually is in my bedroom. The display, when you're not interacting with it, simply tells the time, I think the most useful feature. But as it is Google integrated, you can ask it anything. Hey Google, when is Manchester United playing next? Manchester United will be playing Sheffield United on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Hey Google, what's the weather right now? Currently in Toronto, it's six degrees with rain. This guy is usually the start to most people's smart home tech game. I'd actually recommend this over say these small Google Nest minis. Even though these are only 50 bucks, having the display is just so much better. Inherently, it displays things. These live in every single one of my rooms and probably the game changer for me, it's got pieces of orange. 
And last but not least, I wanted to throw in some tech that meshed in with some lifestyle stuff. This guy is the Herschel Casio collaboration watch. I'm a pretty big watch geek and I get that not everyone can spend this kind of money on say a Swiss watch, but I think anyone in any price category can enjoy timepieces. Casio G-Shocks have always been the staple or great entry point that isn't gonna break the bank into the watch game. The design is simple, it's minimal. I kind of wore all green just to match this watch for this video. It actually keeps better time than this guy as it's fully digital it runs by battery I do rock it from time to time especially when I'm worried that this guy might get damaged I love this guy and I think it'll make a great Christmas tech gift anyways that has been my best tech gift guide series for items under 200 bucks big thanks again to Home Depot you can check out all of their smart home tech game in the links down below hope you're all enjoying the holidays please spend some time with friends and family kind of disconnect from the tech that's of course after you watch this video and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next ones peace